Hey, hey, Matt. My name's uh, Danny Shannon. Um, I'm the founder of uh, Encapsulator. We provide digital time capsules, allowing individuals to reflect on their present moment and record their hopes, dreams, their fears, and their future aspirations, all locked away in our secure time locked vault to be discovered at a date that you choose in the future. You can find us at encapsulator.io. So, for those that are on the move, and for those that are just seeking, well, here's a show for you. Welcome to another episode of Matt Chat Live. Hey folks, this is Matt Crump, and welcome back to another episode of Matt Chat Live. And I am with someone who should be no stranger to you. He definitely is no stranger to me. Danny, we've talked. I just was like looking at my WhatsApp stuff. I'm looking at videos and comments we've had between each other. It's like more posts than LinkedIn, of course, for sure. And we talk just about every day, right? And I'm so, so excited to have you on the show. I absolutely love you like you're my own brother. I can't wait to squeeze your giant neck one day, you big Mr. Clean looking guy. And uh, I'm so glad you're here, man. Thanks for coming to the show today. Thank you, Thank you so much, much. Matty. Um, it's my absolute pleasure to be on your show and more so, you know, like this relationship we have, this back and forth video messages on a daily basis. I go a couple of days, I go, where's well, it's crumpy. Why has he messaged me, you know, and um, we touch base again. So, And and I know you're in North Carolina, isn't it, Matt? You know? That's right. Yeah, it just spins me out. I just love talking to you guys. I've got a couple of good connections in North Carolina, funny enough. So, I know. Um, yeah. You're supposed to come for my birthday, and Corona just uh, had different plans that time of year, didn't it? Oh, yeah, Matt. I would have been there too, mate. It was on my plans. Bloody COVID. I know what a stinking thing. What? It's all right. Well, the third of June was it? My that's second. when you were coming. My birthday was June second, but that's second. when you're planning on landing here. Yeah, that's all right. But man, I'm super. I'm super excited to share with folks your business. And and there's some folks out there that have definitely heard about it. You have some incredible, incredible videos out there. You've been doing some great stuff with people whose lives have been affected by by doing certain things with encapsulator. I remember you had a a, a young man on recently who was an addict and he had something where he recorded something about himself, like right when he was starting to get clean, like the end of his journey, right? Or a beginning of his journey, new journey. And then he looked at himself a couple years later and the video was him watching himself, talking to himself. He's like, holy cow, I, I can't believe that was even me, right? So uh, I know you come from a past yourself with addictions and all those things you've been, you've gone through yourself. And, and now you work at a rehab center, which is amazing. So you get to share some great uh, breakthrough times with other people on a regular basis, which is so amazing of you. You're, you have to be as big as you are because your body requires that size to hold the heart that you have because it's so big. I love Danny's heart. So, you know, uh, what, what made you think about through all this, what made you think about even starting this, this company? What made you think, I want to do this video thing? I mean, what, what sparked that thought? Matt, thank you, mate. That's beautiful. Um, He's going to pay know, all his folks later, so it's pretty cool. I'm going to get rid of it. It's off. funny because you say the big heart, I'm the most sensitive guy as well. Like, I'm in tears almost on a daily basis. And it's not sadness, it's usually gratitude too. You know, I express my gratitude in the strangest ways, but I'm an incredibly grateful man. Matt, and that question you just asked, I love it because it's so obvious what made me start it. I'm such a I'm such a nostalgic person in recovery anyway. You know, one of the massive things that I've always done and has always meant so much to me is photos and images um, of the past. It's just it's just my thing. Actually, at Glebe House, which is the rehab that I went through and I've been working there now for nearly eight years, I've got a photo wall. Um, you might have seen I've created a video with it. It takes up the whole wall. There's about 150 men on that wall and I took every single photo. I stuck every photo on that board. And every single time one of the boys walks into our office, the first thing they do before they even look at me or say hello is they look up at that board, right? It, it provides this amazing connection. Like even if it's a new guy who's just entered our service, the community of drug um, addiction certainly is quite, it's not huge. So they'll always see someone they know up on that board basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it provides them this level of, and oh, that guy's five years clean, that guy's 10 years clean. 
that guy's dead is another thing that comes up often too, you know. Um, yeah. Um, so, mate, that board got full. There's no more room on that board. And I was celebrating a big milestone um, about five years ago. Of, uh, I turned five years clean and sober. And I was sitting there, I was thinking, I wonder what I was like when I entered this place, this rehab. What was I thinking? How was I feeling? And I came up with this idea. The time capsule dropped in my head. I'm going to buy a video camera. I'm going to record a, a message to myself for another five years' time. I'm going to lock it away. And um, boom, that's what happened, mate. Um, so you were the first customer of your own business? Yeah, so it was. That's, that's how it should be, isn't it? Yes, that's yeah. amazing, right? So yeah, what, cool. what did you think about – Did you watched the video, yeah? Mate, look, before – I get on that. What I the most amazing thing happened the minute I started recording that video. Okay, I printed out some questions to help me guide me through it, some goal setting questions and stuff. And the minute I started that recording, I just noticed this immense feeling of you. This was just different. I'd never recorded a video message to myself. Immediately, I thought this is going to be amazing for the boys coming through our service. You know, and that's sort of the angle. I went on, you know, I've captured over 150 videos of our clients over the last five years um, on video, and now they're using Encapsulator, um, which is, and we're getting some amazing feedback from it too, mate. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. To watch, my, to watch my video gave me goosebumps, man. You know, like I had this, one of the things you notice immediately when my video comes on, and there's some testimony around this is, <laughs> I had such a big head, head. head. Like, um, <laughs> like um, yeah, I just, um, for some reason, I was, um, I was on a, I was quite a big guy. They say we put down the spoon, as in abusing drugs, and we pick up the fork in recovery, you know? Oh, so I, like, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> put down the spoon and picked up the fork. And I, I was quite heavy. And one of the first things I said is that I hope that um, I, I'm fitter and I'll, I'll lose some weight. And, when I watched my video, I was probably 10 kilos less. So it was immediately the trend, like the tr transformation was just so obvious, so apparent, you know? That's, that's pretty awesome, right? What a yeah. big testimony to yourself, to your business, to the opportunities for other people. And if folks haven't had a chance to watch some of your, I mean, you just put out a video within the past 30 days of that uh, young man. What's that boy's name I was talking about that? that uh, Maybe Jimmy, Jimmy James. The absolute so. he, was, uh, he was um a little more he was like tan a tanner guy yeah okay cool um there, i'll put out a few it might have been steve could have been claude there's i'll put out lately matt the most amazing things happening right at this stage right now in my business i'm getting all these videos that pe people created two and three years ago and these people are hitting big milestones of two and three years and i'm being able to give them back they're watching their videos and they're coming to me saying, Danny, like, I can't believe it. One of the things that started this idea was too, that people would come up to me all the time and they go, this is so common, right? Danny, I haven't changed, you know, like when things going to get better? And you're just scratching your head and you're going, Steve, think about this when you came here, you know, you're broken. You came in with a striped bag from the local $2 shop, you know, you had nothing. Now look at what you've got. But we focus on the negative always, you know, we forget to focus that's a on the great, great point, Danny. Yeah. No, that's a great point. And a lot of people can get trapped in that, whether you're, you know, an addict or not. I mean, it's, it's just part of our lives and our nature that, um, you know, we can go negative a whole lot easier than we can go positive. It, it takes work to be positive, right? I don't care who you are. It takes work. And uh, I mean, you can get better at it, obviously, but you know, the, yeah, just yeah. Our, our, our natural state is to go that way and to, to be able to say something like, yeah, I haven't, I don't know what I've done. I haven't done much and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, yeah, well, watch this video. Click. Holy yes. cow. <laughs> that was me. It's absolutely amazing that we can do that. Matt, we, yeah, this is a human condition that we do this, you know. We we can all focus on the negatives. Actually, I think our default position just as a human is to automatically do that. It's the work we put in in between that changes that, you know, to look at a more positive. Anyway, that's my yeah. belief. Man, I, I was talking to a, a, another friend of mine uh, yesterday. Did a show with Teresa Quinlan, and she does emotional intelligence. She's kind of popular on LinkedIn as well. And um, 
she uh, and I were talking about, you know, certain things about offices and, and uh, things that she's been able to do with what she does in office setting and corporate settings, things of that nature. So, I mean, with something like Encapsulator, I mean, I mean, it's not just for people that are drug addicts. Like we could take Encapsulator and go to a, a, a business or a corporation and places where people are having office scenarios or whatever. And you can take different people from different departments and they could say, all right, my name's Matt. I'm in charge of HR. Today is 2020. And, um, you know, here's where we're at now. And my, my goal and vision for us right now in the next three years is to get here, right? And then you can have different people in different parts of departments of, these, of the company, for example, be able to speak to themselves and lock it away. And then later on, come back as a company and say, hey, let's review. Like, let's review in, in six months. Let's review in a year. Let's review in two years. And Encapsulator is a fantastic tool to even do something like that, right? Absolutely, Matt. We're really um, so happy at the moment. We are supporting corporate employees through an onboarding program, um, giving um, new onboarding participants um, an opportunity to set some goals for, let's say, the next 12 months and revisit those goals quarterly um, to see what their progress is. This also shows how the organisation is supporting um, their onboarding participants, you know, using this innovative technology to create and capture their, their goals and be able to check in maybe in 12 months' time as to their progress. It's kind of like a KPI tool, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So... We're actually we're we're working with um one of the biggest property organisations in the world at the moment um setting up this onboarding program and, and I, I like to think of Encapsulator more as a program you know you can set it up in such a way that um your prompt questions can come up weekly monthly where it'll um ask you to answer certain questions into your secure time lock vault. Keep in mind too, Matt, we're talking about an opportunity to express ourselves on camera just like like this without any judgment. But like it, this should be, it should be transparent because you're just talking to you, right? I mean, you're either going to lie to yourself, which is horrible to think. Yeah. But if you're alone, I mean, you should be able to just go for the gusto, let it all out and say, all right, this is what I think, right? Mate, and do you know what? A lot of the feedback is the first upload of people are still putting on front. They've still got the ego involved. And what they're finding is as time goes by, the more regular they're updating, that they're able to completely drop those fronts and be able to express themselves without any fear of judgment. Just really capturing the essence of, I think, the, who we are exactly today and delivering that to our future selves. That's so awesome and so exciting. And, you know, you just talked about the prompts. I mean, that's fantastic. So do you have some some stuff that's built into Encapsulator that might have preloaded questions that they can have and say, oh, I'm going to put these things down? Or do they have to come up with their own questions? Or is it both, both and? Or? Matt, it's, it's just amazing, right? The same questions I wrote and researched five years ago when I first came up with the idea are the same questions today that are giving people, 90% of people, this emotional experience. People are coming back to me saying, Danny, I cried. Like, I, I, ha I don't cry, you know, because some of the questions that we've got in our prompts menu, they ask about our loved ones, talk about our future goals. One of the, my favourite questions is, is there something you'd like to say to yourself in five years' time? Um, so these questions are absolutely allowing people to like talk to their inner child to be able to, to and bringing up some emotional stuff and not only that these questions help guide you to create the best video possible so they they can be found on the website uh in one of our blog posts and we also send out questions intermediately through the platform prompting people to answer that question it's up to the organization actually matt how yeah, yeah. Said, Oh, well, that's amazing. And um, I mean, there's definitely a lot of things we can, we can even go into. I mean, we could talk about this forever, but we talk about mental health, you know, and I could think that there's probably a lot of ways that, you know, some doctors and psychologists and things of that nature could see that this would be a fantastic tool helping people with mental health. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Absolutely. It, it, it sure is. We've got this psychiatrist working with us at the moment, and this is like, I can't believe this, right? This guy is writing 
studies and papers on future goals, setting future goals, revisiting those goals more often, giving us a bigger chance of achieving those goals because when we set a long-term goal, let's just say two years' time, um, often we're much more likely to achieve a, a short-term goal because it's at the forefront of our mind. But he believes that Encapsulator and updating daily, he's been using our platform for the last three months twice a day and he's writing about wow. his progress with that, okay? Now, what he believes, and this is absolutely my experience as well, is the more often we just do a one or two minute update and we revisit our goals, we check in with ourselves, the much more likely we are to achieve those goals because they're at the front of our mind, Matt, rather than down the track two years. And right? the distance, right. Yeah. That's so. really amazing. I mean, there are some people that are are capable of of naming those goals and going after them and accomplish them right i mean there's there's some some fantastic people and then there's the rest of us so it's like i need some help right yeah. so i need the i need the big crayon picture i need the big letters to tell me matt go this way right so something like that is an opportunity twofold one you've got some help um by an amazing guy with an amazing platform to give you some questions but at the same time you're helping yourself right what, what what better thing could you possibly get? Now, a lot of folks would think, well, Danny, you know, I've got my cell phone. I've got YouTube, right? I mean, I can do videos all day long. Why, why do I need an encapsulator? Yeah, I love that question. And I've really drilled down on this answer, Matt. There's so many differences, okay? Social media, for example. Facebook, I love Facebook. Facebook memories is one of my favorite things ever, you know? But... We're talking about the raw, the real stuff. You know, often, let's face it, on Facebook, we're putting on some kind of a show, some type of a front. Things aren't always as perfect as they appear on Facebook, you know. Um, so there's that well, part. You know, is, I don't know what you're talking about. Mine's, mine's bad. <laughs> Hey, YouTube, for example, well, we're going to put our content out there for the world to see, maybe find under a link. What we provide is your video disappears. Okay, this is the thing, like the minute you you lock your time capsule, you create your entry, it disappears into our secure time lock vault. I want to just mention that we use the latest and greatest um, encryption and technology to keep everyone's files and videos private and secure. There's end-to-end -end encryption. Um, we Your video disappears and you every time you log in, Matt, and you want to create another video, you see that countdown just rolling down, like you're thinking, well, I'm getting closer to achieving my goals. This idea also makes us think, have I, have I, am I moving towards those goals? What did I say in my video back maybe 12 months ago? We often forget, well, we think we know what we said, um, but it's often different to what people thought they said. You know? Oh, that's so true, brother. I mean, I've, I've probably forgotten most of the great ideas I've ever had. <laughs> I'm a dreamer by nature. I, I dream, dream, dream. I'm an entrepreneur, so I, I'm always going after something. And I, I am never short of an idea. And how awesome would it be to actually land those, some of those ideas to the ground, right? Look, I, I, I use um, Encapsulator, obviously. I use it very regularly. One of the amazing time capsules I have at the moment is I've been documenting my business journey um, for the last 18 months, okay? Um, it's locked for five years. I think it's at the countdowns at about three years, 200 days to go. Now, I've actually captured over 130 business meetings where I give a demonstration um, and I ask the, the person I'm with two questions. I ask them, what's important for you in your life at the present? And then I ask them, what would you like to say to yourself in another three and a half years when this time capsule hatches, right? Now, keep in mind, they're with me, so they're not able to completely give an honest, bold answer. But yeah, that right. experience is being documented. And I'm now going to be able to give back by the time another three years goes. I'll probably have 500 entries in there. But I'm going to be able to send all those videos out to all these amazing people that I met with. Um, and hopefully, you know, encapsulated by this stage is, is thriving. You know, I think things are so exciting at the moment where we're going. And I just can't wait to um, look, Matt, let me just add to I'm just I'm a man in recovery. I, I was in addiction for 17 years on the streets, using, abusing, 
hurting myself and anyone around me. You know, I left school at a very young age as well. So this business journey has been such a struggle. Like I am just, <laughs> I am just learning every single day, nonstop. You know, it does not stop. I've never had an obsession quite like Encapsulator, you know. <laughs> um, and when I say an obsession, I've invested a lot of time, a lot of money, um, and a lot of hope, I guess, into my idea. And yeah, I'm yeah. just seeing some amazing results and feedback. So it's my job as a human being to, 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 to keep moving towards this. You know, people need a tool to be able to document, track, reflect on their progress. Like no, I think it's fantastic. Like it's a, it's the perfect tool, and you know, I mean, you're an entrepreneur. I mean, you didn't, you wouldn't have said maybe ten years ago, "Hi, I'm Danny Shannon. I'm an entrepreneur." But that's who you are now because I mean, we're passionate people, but, and yeah, it's yeah. your baby, and nobody's gonna love Encapsulator any more than you. You're you're the man, right? It's your thing. Uh, however, there are people that are starting to love it a whole lot as well, right? I, I got a question. Where did Encapsulator come from? Where did you think of the yeah. name? The name, do you know what? Um, so the first pilot program was at Glebe House. That's my place of employment. That's the rehab I've worked at now for eight years. Our old manager, Jonathan, it's funny he gets a mention in this. He came up with the name. So he loved what I was doing. He pitched it to the board that Danny's getting, um, you know, permission notes, like cons consent forms to capture videos. And then it sort of grew from that. But Encapsulator was one of the names that um, he came up with, and I thought, you know what, I love that. So Jonathan gets all the credit for Encapsulate. Oh, that's and awesome. We are encapsulating the essence of, you know, who we are today and delivering that to the future, mate. Ooh, you ought to write that down. <laughs> put yeah, that on yeah. video. <laughs> Forget writing it down. Put it on a, uh, a time capsule. Geez, oh, I love it so much, man. And, and uh, nobody better than you to be the spokesperson and cheerleader for that. And I'm, I'm cheerleading for you, too. I yeah. think that you Incredible. I think this is a great a great vision you have and the software. I mean, there's so many software things out there. I mean, we got software every day, everywhere, coming all the time. But, you know, this is a, a bit different in, in what's out there, which is what's important because, you know, we don't want to keep getting the same stuff just repackaged, right? So in mm -hmm. this case, it's completely different. It's, it's therapeutic technology, right? <laughs> That's what the yeah, science is behind you anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, Matt. It, it, look, it, it's quite a unique product. And what we're talking about um, on top of that is having these prompt questions, allowing people to create those best videos possible. There's nothing actually like this out there on the market. You know, time capsules have actually been a method of communicating with future men ever since time began. Encapsulator has bought the time capsule to the 21st century. So what was once locked in the ground can now be securely locked away in the cloud waiting for us to discover it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, while you're talking like that, I can remember I was like in, in third grade in school, we all got together and we got our stuff and we put it in, a, in some kind of a time capsule. What really gets me now, I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that old, but I'm sure not that young. And... Uh, Third grade was a long, long time ago for this old guy. I wonder what did they ever dig that thing up back then? Like, I wonder, I, dude, dude. that's forty over forty-five years ago. Probably, I mean, it's a long time ago. They would, so they would have dug it up by now. Yeah, I think that would have been twenty years. They were usually doing it, and just so you know, we missed that because <laughs> I missed it too. I was busy using drugs when they would have dug that up. But, <laughs> mate, um. But I've had this conversation with many people and quite a lot of people were there for their time capsule um, reunion or when they dig it up. So um, oh, people wow. just love that idea. Um, and it was normally just a handwritten note to themselves or it was a photo of them in their yearbook at school. Just to go back on something you mentioned also, the applications for Encapsulator are absolutely limitless. You know, every meeting I have, and this is what's been really difficult this last 18 months is somebody gives me a new idea and then I go off on a tangent and I <laughs> need to remember to bring it back to what I'm an expert in. And I believe, you know, well, 
I'm clean today. I'm an expert in um, my space, my community of um, drug and alcohol addiction. My so, space. Here's an idea. You should start a platform called MySpace. That'd be really cool. Too. <laughs> before but um, to, yeah, the, to high schools um to use school high school reunions you know the corporate industry fitness weight loss motivation all that could you imagine doing an encapsulator for every graduating class so when they come back on their 10th reunion or their 25th reunion they pop up on this thing you're like what because they're saying you haven't changed in 15 years well let me show you how much you really have changed <laughs> and do you know what the, one of the biggest things about that time capsule video would be, do you know how, like, especially kids at that age, I say kids because they are, but they they think these people beside them, their best mates, are going to be there forever. And I hope they are. But they think where their life's going, but things just change so much. And so life much. Changes, you never see anybody life, again. Yeah, and it's just not the way we thought it was going to be, Matty. No. It's hopefully, so, so hopefully it's good. better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. What a fantastic, fantastic invention, innovation that you have been able to come up with. And how it's the story of redemption. I think of Danny Shane and I think of the story of redemption, buddy. And um, to see who you are now, and where you've come from, and we share some some similarities and parallels in our pasts as well. And, um, you know, it's not easy. And, you know, I don't I know what it feels like to to be a drug addict and alcoholic, you know, I know what it feels like to be, I mean, honestly, it was just, uh, I was lonely, you know, I wanted acceptance. I was horrible self-esteem, you know, all kinds of, all those types of things you'd have going into finding a, a, a resource to, to numb all that stuff up. Um, but then to be able to come out of something like that and you were, uh, even older in your drug addiction and stuff than I was, I was younger, but for you to be older and be able to, to do this now, that's just totally amazing. I'm very lucky, you know, Matt. I just want to let everyone know too that yeah, I've been in recovery for almost 11 years. I'm celebrating 11 years next month, but I have the best life ever. You know, often I talk about a lot of the pain and the people I work with, and people think, "Oh, how do you do it?" But mate, oh, we could not. I'm telling you, I am the luckiest man alive. You know, I've got everything going on. Very happy, like my life is so full. I've got this entrepreneurial journey that I'm on. I'm full of gratitude and I wouldn't change one single thing of my past, you know. Matty, but also I remember, amazingly enough, after just hearing you say that, I remember the day I first encountered you on the LinkedIn platform. In fact, I was sitting in my car at the front of my work, all right. I pulled up and I watched your video. It was it was a different background. It's the other background I see. Yeah, on, it's the opposite, out the opposite side of my studio. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never I forget. I remember, stuff, yeah. I remember your beard um, and I remember you talking about recovery and I remember you talking about your past and I think I remember you talking about um, dealing with, with cancer as well. And I just I thought, this guy is amazing. And immediately I sent you an audio message, which is one of the amazing tools on LinkedIn, you know. Yes. And from that day, Matt, you and I, have, that must be, it was over 12 months ago now, but since that day, you and I have just continued to build this amazing friendship and, and networking, um, you know. It's, so been, it's been so amazing. Off of what people think is like, oh, it's social media, it's no big deal. But, I mean, you're one of my, you're one of my closest friends that I've never touched, but yet you touched my heart, right? So it's like, one day we're going to see physically, we'll see each other. Somehow it's going to happen. But oh, it, I'll be you know, I don't know if I could love you anymore if I did see you in person. It wouldn't make any difference. And that's what the benefit of some of this stuff is and how, how powerful what we're talking about today, how powerful video is. Yeah, and to think about applying that into your own, what we're talking about with each other, our little bro love fest here right now. But when you talk about doing that for yourself, like, like you should love yourself. Like I read this crazy article. There's a, oh, what's this girl's name? Um, one American Idol, uh, one of the first ones, Felicia. Fana, Fana, something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm talking like I'm doing time twelve seven three. <laughs> 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 That's anyway, the first, like, they she had a lot of problems in her life, ups and downs, and she didn't. She quit school. You know the whole thing. Anyway, uh, of recent, 
she actually, she married herself. And she said the reason why she did that, which I think is kind of weird. However, the reason why she did it, she said, was that she had to get to a place where she felt like she could love herself first, where she felt like she could actually love everything about herself. So she just separated herself from everything. She put a ring on her finger saying, I'm going to love you. And she put a ring on her own finger and said, I love you. And she started to love herself and it started to change her life. And I think, man, that's a fantastic idea. It's beautiful, Matt. I mean, one of the things I encourage people with Encapsulated is always to be kind and loving towards themselves. So I totally hear where you're coming from, you know. Um, I could probably use a bit of marrying myself at times. Too. <laughs> well, I think we all could at times. Just for sure we could say, that's not loving myself, right? And if we don't love ourselves... You know, it, it really reflects in, in a lot of bad ways. And you and I both know where that can go. But, um, well, Danny, thanks so much for being here today in Matt Chat Live. And for us, we will have a little fun together and share with everybody what you've got going on with Encapsulator. Yet, how many, so you know, you've got people from around the world that are using Encapsulator. I have an Encapsulator account. My son and I have done a video on Encapsulator together. And, you know, it's it's just been amazing. So I just can't. I just can't wait to see what happens in the next few years with Encapsulator and where this goes. It's going to be amazing. It already is. Thank you, Matty. I, yeah, and I, I like how you said the next couple of years because, you know, as an entrepreneur and as somebody who's invested so much time, my experience was we expect shit to happen overnight in the beginning. Yeah. But, and that's fine. That's nice. Like fantasy is great and dreams are good too, but re being realistic I love that. Like, I, I think any journey is five years is always a good time to, to think about. So that's the way I think about it these days. And as long as I keep chipping away and I'm making progress and each day I'm being a better person, Matty, my mission, uh, my vision is being fulfilled, you know? Yeah, that's amazing. And what you're able to do for so many other people and then them for themselves and for others as well, it just continues to go on and on. Well, thanks again, folks. Again, Danny, tell us how everybody can reach you and how they can find uh, Encapsulator again. One of my favorite platforms is the LinkedIn platform. I'm Danny A. Shannon, the gratitude maker and sobriety king. You can find me under that. Um, Maddie, um, you can find us at encapsulator.io. My uh, email address can be found at the bottom of the website. Um, and I've also got an Encapsulator uh, Facebook and Instagram page too, man. Thank you. You sure do. Thanks a lot, Danny, for being with us today. And thanks, everybody, for being here on another episode of Matt Chat Live. Thanks, Matt. If you'd like to be a guest on Matt Chat Live and Matt Chat Live Dailies, please reach out to us here or visit us at mattcrump.tv.